as capable in battle as any warrior you'll find. The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. We must slay Xiao Ren and Jiang Ling in order to obtain Jing province. It is imperative that we... Hmm, what is that? That. What's wrong? Did something bad happen? The ship has been damaged! We don't have the materials to repair it. These are the materials. The ship has... These... Reporting. Lord Zhou Yu has been shot by an arrow. He needs aid at once. Huh? Lord Zhou Yu's hurt? We've got to go help him! in time. Now we must quickly reform our ranks and go to the aid of our allies. Everyone, to defend this area! We shall... Defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. I know that arrow caused severe damage to you. Continuing to struggle will only prolong your agony. I refuse to let it end here. I will fight on for my lord and the sake of Wu. Our reinforcements are here. This is our chance to seize victory. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! How could my tactics fail like that? 
Who says a woman has to be weak? An incredible display of skill. Perhaps now is a good time to run. There is no flaw in your form or technique. You flow forward and fluid, much like a mighty rip. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Underestimated the strength of Wu's unity. They managed to overcome our decidedly superior odds. The future of Wu is riding on this battle. I will pay any price to ensure that we emerge victorious. Hooray! Victory is ours! Yep. Such a fine performance! We can all learn a thing or two from you.
incredible display of... to the enemy. Oh! <laughs> 
is all mine. I've been placed in charge of Xiong Ling's defenses. My shield will not waver, no matter how many men the enemy throws at it. I am supported by numerous allies. Give me the strength to become an immovable shield on the battlefield. Now, take defensive positions. to protect the post assigned to me this cannot have happened not me who says a woman has to be weak yep an incredible the ship has we don't Jing province is ours. This is a great step forward in our plans for the land. I am relieved that I was able to realize my goal. Zhou Yu! Are you alright? Hey! Don't you go dying on me! We must see to his wounds immediately. Quickly, escort Master Zhou Yu back to the main camp. Master Zhou Yu! Are you hurt? I'll be all right. Uh, what about Nanjun? Don't worry. We captured it just like you planned. This'll give us a base to oppose Cao Cao. It seems the path towards splitting the land in two is open before us, Master Zhou Yu. I see. In that case, it was worth the risk. M my lord, we've got trouble! Liu Bei's army invaded Jing province while we were taking Nanjun! He has captured the territories of Wuling, Shengsha, Lingling, and Guiyong!
What? Damn you, Zhu Goliang! You dare to steal Jing with your cowardly plots! Stay calm, Zhou Yu. Your wounds could get worse. The wounds to my body are nothing compared to the loss being suffered by Sun Nu! <laughs> Zhou Yu, forget about her. You just focus on getting better. My lord, please forgive me. Lu Su, you too. It looks as if I'm going to have to leave the rest to you. Merciful heavens! Give me one more! Please just allow me to work on one more plan for Sunu! Do uh, you! Master Show You! Do you! Lu Xu, give me a situation report on Jing province. Yes, my lord. Wu Ling, Shang Sha, Ling Ling, and Gu Yang are all under Liu Bei's control. His army has a firm grip on the south. I have spoken with Zhuge Liang, and he regrets to inform us that they have no intention of handing over the territories peacefully. He is claiming that Liu Bei inherited the lands of Jing province from Liu Biao, and that he is their rightful owner. What cowards! First they use us at Chibi. Now they try to steal Jing province from us with sophistry. Jing is essential to our plan to divide the land in two. We should take it and make Liu Bei and his followers pay for their betrayal. Don't be so hasty, Master Cheng Pu. We are still allies with Liu Bei. Our alliance only exists on paper at this point. How is Zhou Yu faring? Not good, I'm afraid. His wounds are swelling, and there is poison running throughout his body. I'm sorry to hear that, Zhou Yu. We should ask Master Zhou Yu for his thoughts on this matter. Of course, I do not wish to put too much of a strain on him. You're right. We could use some of Zhou Yu's wisdom about now. Let us go and see what he has to say. Okay.
Zhou Yu. How are you feeling? My lord, I apologize for my appearance. You're fine. Please, conserve your strength. Losing you would be like losing my own right arm. Who needs you now more than ever? My lord, I am not worthy of such praise. It pains me greatly to be incapacitated at such an important time. This is a pivotal moment for Wu's future. Master Zhou Yu, I apologize for this intrusion. As you say, this is a pivotal moment for Wu's future. I was hoping to hear your thoughts on dealing with Liu Bei. What do you think, Lu Su? If we are to divide the land with Cao Cao, it is not wise to make additional enemies. Furthermore, from the viewpoint of a wanderer like Liu Bei, gaining a land of his own is probably his most heartfelt desire. For argument's sake, let's say he has a compelling reason for making such a move. I can understand that. Therefore, I think we should loan Jin Province to Liu Bei for the time being and prioritize our alliance. Yes, I agree with you. However, it is clear that we can no longer trust Zhuge Lian. I have a feeling they may seek to dissolve our alliance. In order to prevent that, we are going to have to form even stronger ties with them. Ties? Hmm. Perhaps I should call it a bond or connection. Our alliance can be strengthened through the use of a strategic marriage. Princess, I want you to marry Liu Bei in order to solidify the alliance between our kingdoms. Huh? Zhou Yu, have you lost your mind? If the princess and Liu Bei were to marry, it would create a strong bond between Wu and Shu. That would carry over into our alliance and enable us to face Cao Cao without having to watch our back. Princess, I beg of you. I am in need of your help to ensure the future of Wu. I won't allow it. Shang Xiang is my sister, not some tool to be bargained with. Very well, Jiu Yu. Huh? Princess, you have my eternal gratitude. Shang Xiang, do you know what this means? This is not just your average marriage. You will lose all your freedom and be forced to live in a land you don't even know. Is that what you really want? Thank you, Chuan. However, I feel this is what is necessary for Wu at the present time. The chaos continues with no end in sight, and Cao Cao is sure to attack us again. If I can help our cause in this way, then it will be an honor to do it. Besides, I can honestly say that I... Kind of like Lord Liu Bei. Well then, I shall go and present this offer to Master Liu Bei. Lu Su, please bring Liu Bei here at the time of the ceremony. If he refuses to come, then forget about everything we've discussed here. Hmm. As you wish. I must do whatever I can to secure Wu's future while I still draw breath, no matter how much it may stain my reputation in the process. Princess, I only hope that you can forgive me. I never expected the princess to be the type of woman to get married. 
She is wise and kind-hearted. I believe she is doing what she knows is best for Gu. I heard that Master Huan Gai wept when he heard the news. The princess sure is popular. So, when is Master Liu Bei due to arrive here? I believe he should be here shortly. As such, I suppose we ought to go back to making our rounds. Don't you find this a bit strange? This should be a celebration, but security is tighter than ever. And most of them are Master Zhou Yu's men. Master Liu Bei is set to become the princess's husband. We need to have men we can trust in case something happens. I see. I hope that's all it is. It appears Liu Bei has just arrived. He should be joining us shortly. Xiang Xiang, are you absolutely sure this is what you want? Yes, brother. Thank you for your concern, though. After all these years watching over you, Princess, to think that you're finally getting married. I couldn't stop crying. Come on now, Huang Gai. It's not like we'll never see each other again. What's the matter, Lu Su? Is something troubling you? No. It's just that Master Zhou Yu was acting a bit strange. Zhou Yu? Master Lu Su! You know what's strange is all of the security around here. It seems Master Zhou Yu's men have locked the place down. Master Zhou Yu's men? No. It can't be. Ah! I am such a fool! How could I not see this coming sooner? What is it, Luzu? My lord, I believe that Master Zhou Yu is planning to assassinate Master Liu Bei. What? How can you be so sure? This marriage is simply a ruse. I believe Master Zhou Yu's intention is to lure Master Liu Bei into the open and then wait for a chance to kill him. Master Zhou Yu knows just how dangerous Master Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang are to our cause. He must have decided on this plan after the situation with Jing. Impossible! We need to get Master Liu Bei out of here right away. If this plot actually goes down, we'll have bigger problems than just losing an ally. Wait, what if Zhou Yu is right? Wouldn't it benefit Wu immensely if we killed Liu Bei? Cheng Pu! No, you're wrong! You're suggesting that we invite somebody here to a wedding under false pretenses and then kill him! Who could ever trust such people? If we want to do what's best for Wu, then we need to keep our promises. I am going to marry Lord Liu Bei. Please, everybody! I need your blessing, as well as your help. For Lord Liu Bei's sake, as well as Zhou Yu's. Princess? I understand how you feel, Princess. I promise to do whatever I can to help you achieve your wish. I'll fight for you, no matter what! Xu Xiang, thank you. I'm here for you too, Princess. I would hate to miss a chance to see you on your wedding day. Cheng Pu, my lord. For the sake of Wu, please escort Master Liu Bei to safety. Very well. We must put a stop to Zhou Yu's plan. Zhou Yu? All units! We must slay the greatest threat to Wu! Liu Bei!
How could the enemy get the jump on us like this?
must not allow any harm to come to the princess. Our target is Liu Bei, and Liu Bei alone. This is for the future of Wu. Everybody, prepare for battle! No! I have proven that a woman is just as capable as any man. Yeah. 
Finally run out. Princess, leave the rest to us. Thank you, everyone. But now, Lord Liu Bei and I must be going. Lady Shang Xiang? I swore to protect you, Princess. Please, allow me to come with you. No, I need you by someone else's side, Lian Shi. <laughs> I think you know who I'm talking about. Princess. Tell my brother that as long as I am alive, the alliance between Wu and Shu shall be unwavering. And tell Zhou Yu, thank you for me. Princess, please take care of yourself. It seems my blade failed to find its mark. It is better this way, Zhou Yu. The alliance between Wu and Liu Bei is stronger than ever now. Just like you said it would be. I believe that will be true for the time being. However, given the problem with Jing, I am afraid we will be unable to avoid further conflict with Liu Bei. At that time, it is going to hit you and especially the princess rather hard, my lord. More than anybody, you've risked your life to protect U. Nobody blames you for what you have done. My lord. I will not let your passion for U go unanswered. I promise to do whatever it takes to protect our people. But for now, try to get some rest. Unless you don't trust me to do the job properly. No. I think I can rest easily. Now. Show you. We may have placed too heavy of a burden upon Zhou Yu's shoulders. I suppose we were so caught up in our victory at Chibi that we failed to notice. The boy we once knew has grown into a fine young man. We must focus on supporting Wu's efforts going forward. It seems our life of easy retirement is gonna have to wait. Where are you going, Cheng Gu? I'm going to have a drink with Zhou Yu. Will wonders never cease? Hello, Master Cheng Bu. You look like you're feeling better. Care to join me for a drink? As long as you're feeling up to it, of course. Are you sure you wish to drink with a greenhorn like me? You have performed admirably in the service of U. I do not doubt your credentials any longer. Grr. It seems I forgot to bring the cups. Ah. Get a hold of yourself. Master Cheng Pu. We need you to train all of the other greenhorns in our army. 
Hm. I never thought I'd live to see the day you were scolding me. Wait a moment. I'll be right back. Master Chang Pu, I leave the rest to you. Sun Tzu, I hope I was able to live up to your expectations for me. Lastly, my lord, I hope you can forgive me for abandoning my path midway through. Jo Yu? Curse you, Greenhorn! Jo Yu, please say hello to my brother for me, and thank you for your loyal service. Thank you. 